I think the next step is for you to work on a case study very similar to what we just did, a grid tied photovoltaic system. And I, it's the case study one in the handouts that you should have received or the, 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 the case study uh, handout you've just received. If you didn't receive it, I can put this up right here. So, and we're going to go through this part by part. So you'll note that that case study is broken up part by part by part. So you don't need to read through the whole thing to begin with. Just read to part one because I'm going to give you about, I don't know, five minutes to do part one and then I'm going to demonstrate how I would do part one and then I'll give you another, say, five or ten minutes to do part two and then I'll demonstrate how to do part two. So this is really all you need to look at to start with. It's a grid-tied photovoltaic system and I've just chosen Nigeria as an example. Um, and I don't know entirely the situation in Nigeria, so I've based it on what I could find, say, over the internet, but there may be some errors and some assumptions. What's important is you understand how to use the tool. And the idea here is that a policy maker want just, might just want to determine whether current market conditions in Nigeria are sufficient to lead to profitable large-scale PV projects. So a private developer um, would do, uh, say, a 20 megawatt photovoltaic project and connect it to the grid. Are they going to earn enough money selling the electricity from their 20 megawatt project to the grid to make that a profitable project? That's what we're trying to answer, but we're going to do it step by step. And uh, the first part is just to fill out the start page. And in this case, we're going to use the US dollar for the currency. Uh, and in other cases, we're going to use local currencies like the, uh, the CFA franc. And um, the only question that I have to begin with is question in Kaduna, how much solar energy strikes a one meter by one meter horizontal surface in an average day? So we'll start with that. I'll give you about five minutes to work through that. So I get red screen open on your computer uh, and then fill out the start page based on the information on this slide or you can read it off the um, paper or the, uh, the file that I sent out uh, yesterday. If you don't have it, I believe there's a handout you can download case studies day one as well. So I think you should uh, be seeing my screen again, uh, or at least seeing the red screen here. Where did my questions go? Oh, they're there. So I will run through this. Now the first thing I'm going to do is, you know, I've got this uh, here and I've got the data I already entered into there and I want to start with a fresh analysis. So I'm going to click on C Project Database here, which opens, it's a blue hyperlink, so it opens something uh, you know, as in general, it opens a dialog box. And this is the place where I can save or um, load different templates and case studies, you see. Uh, but it also has over here on the right a new button, which erases uh, everything I've got in there. So I'm going to click no to not save these changes. Um, and what Red Screen will do is completely clear out the start page. So just take a second. Um, so you could have entered anything you wanted for the project name. So I'm going to enter, uh, I think it's 20 megawatt grid tied PV. The project location is, uh, if you go back to here, you see it's near Kaduna, Nigeria. and it's prepared for uh, ECRI class, and it's prepared by Michael Ross. You can enter whatever you want in those four things. I'm just showing you how I would do it so you can follow along and uh, see whether your answers mates, you know, were similar to mine. One thing you had to do, though, was to pick Power Project here, because this is a photo.